back to RX Muscles Iron Road to the Olympia 2018, brought to you by Redcon One. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today's installment of Iron Road to the Olympia is our last, but not our least. And the man I saved it for is Dwayne Quamina. Welcome. Uh, thanks, thanks for having me, man. Really did appreciate I, you having me on the show. Did I pronounce your last name right? Uh, it's Quamina. Kwame, okay. I, I like to have the right uh, pronunciations down, so it, that's important. Yeah. Now I'll never forget it. Now, uh, you call yourself King Q. Yes. Where'd that come from, that moniker? Um, I like watching like movies about kings and queens and battle scenes and stuff like that. So even before I started um, bodybuilding, I got like a crown with the letter Q in it. And people <laughs> call me King Q. <laughs> you like Game of Thrones? Oh, I love Game of Thrones. Yeah, absolutely. that's my favorite. I can't wait till it comes back again uh, for the final season here. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, yeah. They, they're really straight along. Now you, uh, you know, you turned pro as a lightweight bodybuilder. Yes. 2016. Yes. To, you know, a lot of times, you know, in the in the past, obviously, you know, turning pro as a lightweight when that your career was over, pretty much. Mm -hmm. With yeah. the rare exception of a few guys that were able to creep up. Sean Clarita, one of the guys who's, who's been able to move up the ranks. Uh, you as well. You seem to have done it much faster than these other guys have. How did you go from 154 pounds on stage, now you're weighing 200 pounds in two years? So, yeah, so in order to make lightweights, I had to lose 60 pounds. <laughs> so, I, I, I fucking suffered and I made it. So it's not really, oh, I gained 50 pounds. It's just I didn't have to sacrifice so much muscle. Well, most guys would maybe go down to middleweight or welterweight. Why did you decide you had to go down to lightweight? <laughs> because they're little, and we knew we knew that we would dominate there. No one had the, the shape, the size, the roundness. So we were like, we can dominate and get it over. Well, you know what? You, you did it. because I don't, I don't know how you sucked down that much weight, but that might be the all-time greatest uh, weight reduction to make. To make weight reduction. Yeah. I, I guess your computer finished updating, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we were waiting for it before. Oh my God. Now, okay. Dwayne, let me let me just talk to you for a minute because you, you won at the end of last year the Phoenix Pro 212. You qualified yeah. for the Olympia for this year. Wisely, you took the year pretty much to grow, to put on as much size as possible. You're bringing in, you know, you, you look like, I always tell people, you look like a, a small William Bonac, a little bit of a shorter William Bonac. Uh, I'm very impressed with how much muscle you bring to the stage, and I don't think anyone's more impressed than you are, because you're very, very bold on your Instagram about talking about how, how good you are and how dangerous you're going to be at this Olympia. Uh-huh. You have a lot of confidence in yourself. It's entertainment, Dave. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I can't tell you. Yeah. There's not many people's Instagrams I like to go read. I read yours. Yeah. I'm just having fun with it. I'm building as much excitement and hype for the show as possible. Right. Um, it's my first Olympia. If wherever I place, I'm happy. I really don't care. You feel me? So I know that I bring a, a great package and we should do well. But these are the best people in the world, so I really don't care. Uh, the way I, I look at it is like when you play poker, you, you sometimes you bluff. But right. you got to have a good hand when you bluff because somebody might call you and you might get hit in the head. So I bluffed and I had a good hand and I didn't think it was going to be as good of a hand as it is now. But, yeah. Well, you, you don't need to bluff. You got the you got the goods to back it up. I mean, I'm looking at some of these pictures and, you know, you got a lot yeah. of mass in your body. Your conditioning is, is pretty flawless. And I know you like to put pictures up of, of you against some of the top guys in the 212. Because you feel like maybe you're not getting a, a fair shake in terms of the people, uh, I guess you could say, you know, picking you as one of the favorites up there. No, it's just I know that it gets the people going. <laughs> I get hate messages, and it's pretty, it's very entertaining. Uh, I usually do most of my trash talking during cardio, so <laughs> it gets me cool. <laughs> yeah, no. it's, it's comic to me, honestly. Now, I I, you dish out a lot, of, a lot of stuff on people. And we're going to talk about some mm. of the people you like to dish on. Obviously, some people are going to give it back to you. Do you let any of that bother you? Because I know guys that like, like to dish out stuff and they can't take it back. They, they, they have yeah. no ability to accept it. 
do you just kind of let it kind of brush off your head? Absolutely. I don't take any offense. I'm in the military. That's all we do. We clown on people. Like, <laughs> it's a way of life, like just clowning on people. And yeah, it builds camaraderie. So these guys, they can't honestly think I'm serious. You understand? <laughs> I want everybody to succeed. And honestly, I, like I said, I want thank you cards at the end of the Olympia because I motivated the hell out of them to bring their best back. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You bring yeah. a nice a bit, bit of entertainment into this uh, sport, too, because uh, I yeah. think everyone's so Absolutely. boring. So boring. Absolutely. Better bring the younger generation. <laughs> you really, really like to, to break uh, Derek Lunsford's balls. I noticed yes. he's number one on your, on your hit list, without a doubt. Why? He said, I would never, ever beat him in my life, ever. Oh, he did? When did he say that to you? He said that. A uh, few months back on one of the, the pages, he was very cocky about it, too. So I was like, okay, let's see. I was like, hold my beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, this kid's going to need therapy if he, after what you've been doing to him lately. Yeah, so it's all psychological, right? Like, it's a game that we're playing. So I want the biggest advantage I can have. So the whole time I was creating this narrative that his conditioning was off. And yes, his conditioning was off at the Olympia. And I was like, okay, if he tries to match my conditioning, it's gonna be flat like a pancake. <laughs> and I think he tried to match my conditioning and they blew. Like he's not coming back from, he's flat. Like he looked like an average Joe that never worked out before. Honestly. <laughs> I saw you so, saying on Instagram, you were putting pictures up of him and how terrible he looks. Oh, yeah. People sent me pictures of him last night. He was like last meal or something. Yeah. He looks like a regular guy. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, wow, I really got to him. So, <laughs> so, yeah. you, so you think your psychological warfare with him worked, in other words? Oh, absolutely. Arnold did it. Like, Ronnie did it. Like, it's a game. Mm -hmm. Like, we're already stressed so much putting our bodies through all of this. So that extra stress of me saying his conditioning was bad, I'm sure it affected him. But on the flip side, let's think about it. Every time I did a post like that, how much negative feedback did I get? You understand? So I built an environment where I had to perform. So like, I got some hate mail. Like, yeah. <laughs> like what? What was the worst someone wrote to you? It was like, you're such an asshole. Why do you hate him so much? Why don't you focus on yourself? Oh, you got gyno. Like, oh, you're fat. Like, <laughs> oh, you'll never be top 10. Like, oh, you're not a good person. Like, they on and on and on. Yeah. <laughs> Did you laugh when you read that? Yeah. I, 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 man, Zane Watson, I called him out. I was like, you guys are all chickens. Like, nobody's calling me out. Am I that good? And Dane Watson put the uh, picture up of the guy. Oh, my God. I had such a good laugh. <laughs> I messaged him. I was like, bro, thank you for having the balls to say something. Like, it's comedy, man. Like, this is the – we need to make it the WWE. Man. Yeah. So uh, I, I love it. Now, now, obviously, Flex Lewis is, is – this is going to be his last 212 Olympia. He obviously wants yeah. to go out with a win. Uh, do you think he could beat him? Right now? No. Yes. Like, no. Like, he's a fucking animal. Like, yeah, he's put together very well. I think if we were to compete maybe three to five years from now when I had more mature muscle, possibly I could give him a run for his money, but he adds it a lot this year. Yeah. What about a guy like Jose Raymond, who's this is going to be his last year, too. He's retiring after this. You think you yeah. have enough in the tank to, to take out the, the Wiley veteran? Uh, <laughs> Jose the beast. I like Jose. I apologized to him this morning. I said I was out of luck. So. What did you <laughs> say, say? What you said about him on, on Instagram? He has no legs. Um, <laughs> he has no detail. It's just all veins. Quality <laughs> over vascularity. Yeah, I yeah. went a little. Over. <laughs> so you actually you did apologize. Isn't that kind of going against your psychological warfare uh, theory? 
No, because all the damage that's been done has been done. They can't. Oh, fix it no, they time. can't undo it at this point. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about a guy like former two hundred and two Olympia champ who whose physique reminds me a lot of yours? Uh, you know, when he first came out, David Henry. Yeah, David Henry. I really liked him when I first started bodybuilding. And I saw his back. I was like, oh, my God, that's ridiculous. And I've always been a fan of him. He's very quiet. He doesn't really talk. I've never interacted with him. Yeah. But I definitely admire his physique. But I think my legs are superior to his. And who knows? Once we stand side by side, who knows what's going to happen? But I think that my leg development is superior. And I, I pack a lot of muscle. So that's going to be very interesting. Right. And he's, he's a military guy, too, obviously. So. Yeah, yes. You got that in common. What what uh, branch of the military are you in? I'm in the Navy. Navy. Now, do you, are you active or are you on reserve? What you... I'm active. I transitioned out of the military October 18th. Oh, you're being shipped off? No, I get out. Oh, you're, oh, you're retiring. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. How long have you been in? Uh, I'll be 12 years. Okay. Now, now, how do you decide when to retire? Is there a certain age I'm or length retiring. of time? I'm just, yeah, I'm just, I'm just done. I'm not retiring. You retire after 20 years, and if I were to go on another deployment, like, it would ruin my bodybuilding career. The last deployment I went on, I brought a freezer onto the boat, and I cooked 100 pounds of chicken before we pulled out. And I cooked <laughs> chicken for four months. I would go down to the galley. I'd pay the cooks to cook me more chicken. I'd go in port, buy chicken, fill up the freezer. I'm not doing that again. I'm good. <laughs> It, yeah. <laughs> what what's the weight room like on, on one of those ships that you're on? Uh, it's not the best, so that's why I can train at Planet Fitness because I, I just use what I have. Right. Like just have to make do on the boat. Like the boat's rocking. Yeah. Like I'm still squatting over five hundred pounds while the boat is rocking. <laughs> like yeah, it, it's it's interesting. Maybe that's why your leg development's so good, because you actually have to use a lot more stabilization muscles on yeah. those squats. Yeah, possibly. Um, the, what, another thing that sucks is that we work seven days a week, 14 to 16 hours a day. Wow. So we're clocking 360 to 390 hours a month with no days off. Wow. So yeah, my work ethic in the gym. Yeah. Easy. Like I've done deployments. So what, what's, yeah. uh, what do you do? Like, what's your job like on the boat? I'm an aviation structural mechanic. So I deal with flight controls, landing gears, hydraulic systems, stuff. So, are you constantly are you constantly repairing stuff? Is is that how I mean what you're doing every day? Remove and replace and troubleshoot. Yeah. Now, so, wh what happens? Do you guys have like an unlimited amount of supplies in that boat? Like if things break, you obviously have parts on there, right? Not all the time. No. no. So what do you guys do if there's something that you don't have a part for? Steal it from another jet. Oh, is that really what you do? Because you're in the middle of the ocean. I mean, I don't know what you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're like, kind of, it's like a grab bag basically over there. Oh yeah. Are those are those jets very safe? Yeah, they're definitely safe. Yeah. Like they, they we have, we're trained to do our job, so I'm really good at fixing airplanes. Right. Like I can get out now and go work for SpaceX building spaceships, but I I, I want to pursue the bodybuilding thing. Gotcha. We'll see how that. Works. Gotcha. Yeah. What what would Dwayne Kumina a quick Quimina? Quimina? Um, yeah. Quimina. What would be what would make you happy to leave Vegas with? What placing? Top five, top three, top ten? What do you what would be okay for you? I'm shooting for top five, but top ten I'm happy. Okay. Like what people are gonna clown on me? Oh, you're number nine in the world out of seven billion people. Like yeah. it, it just doesn't sound right. You right. feel me? So yeah, I'm shooting for top five, but if I get top ten, that's fine. Well, you look great. Uh, the journey that you've made from lightweight up to a, a solid 200 pounds, 212 guy at five foot four and a half or five foot four and three quarters, as you like to point out, is absolutely incredible. Do you think that you would ever venture out of the 212 category at some point in the future, or is this is this your home? There's more money in the open if I can be competitive. Like, we just have to see. I've only been bodybuilding for five years. This is my eighth show. Wow. So, yeah. So we'll see. In five years, maybe I'll go to open, pull a bonac. I don't know. <laughs> I, you have a lot of mass in you. I think you could probably do it. Yeah. But you do have another 12 pounds to gain in, in the class you're in. So 
you might fit. Yeah. This might be a perfect fit for you, you know? Yeah. Definitely. Do you think you can win the Olympia title in the 212 category at some point in the future? Absolutely. I would have talked so much trash if I didn't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's good. Good answer. Well, uh, enjoy Vegas. I'll be out there tomorrow. Uh, you, what are you guys weighing? Tomorrow? Oh, uh, yeah. We weigh in tomorrow. It's great you don't have to make a weight, right? You already you're already there. I'm already there, yeah. Most of these guys are suffering like dogs to try to make that weight. Oh yeah. <laughs> you're sip, had, you're had, sipping had, coffee had, and carving up, you know. Yeah, I've only had one carb meal in the last four or five weeks. So once I put carbs in, it's gonna be pretty ridiculous. Enjoy your uh, your carving up. We'll see you on stage Friday night on the big stage and uh, best of luck to you. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it. All right. That's going to take us to the end of another episode of RX Muscles Iron Road to the Olympia 2018, brought to you by Redcon One. I'm Dave Palumbo, and next time you'll see me, I'll be in Las Vegas, Nevada.